in this video, what I want to go ahead and do is start making our uh, weapons actually kind of be networked. So what I mean by that is currently, here I have the server right here. I shoot the zombie. You can see my points are going up. But if I go in the client and shoot, nothing happens. And same dealio, the weapon is out there in front of the uh, third person mesh and floating. Try to get them out of the way. You can see the same dealio here. Well, we want to attach it to the hand of the third person mesh and the hand of the first person mesh, but they have to be separate. And I'll kind of show you what I mean as I go into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up our player class just so you can, so I'll build a visually uh, show you what I'm talking about when I get into it. All right, so in our character base uh, CPP and our begin play, how we currently have it set up is we simply spawn the weapon actor and attach it to our hand. So this is happening for you know all clients, server as well, just for everybody. Well, we want to kind of change this so that it's not just attaching to the first person mesh's hand for everybody. It needs to attach to the first person hand or well, the first person mesh if we're the locally controlled player, meaning we are the person that's controlling that character and the third person mesh's hand if we are not controlling that character, if that makes sense. So we're controlling the player. We see the first person arms. That's what we're going to be using. We see the third person character as another player. We want it to be attached to the third person arms, his hand. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Really, let me load up this one. Yeah, the only thing I've done since I just moved the camera to the center, no other changes since the last video, <clears throat> that keeps it from when you go to turn, it was previously pivoting kind of all around the circle. Now it just pivots in the center, which is what I want. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get started on that. So the way we can do that is we want to spawn the current weapon just on the server. So all we're going to simply do for that check is either if has authority, Then we're going to perform that. Now I want to mention something. Has authority does not necessarily mean something is going to run on the server. It just means that you have the authority over this actor. So for example, if I was the owner of the weapon base and I was to do a has authority check, it should return true, assuming I understand it right. We want to make sure we're always on the server for something randomly specific. Like we're probably gonna have to end up doing on the weapon or inside the weapon class. What we would do is if uh, we're gonna do get world is server, and that'll do a server check. But we're not gonna do that as of yet. So if we have the authority, in this case, we're gonna be it's gonna be running on the server. We are going to spawn the weapon. And what we want to do is we want to create an honor event that sets up the attaching. So in the character base under current weapon, what I want to do is I want to make that an on rep. So I'm going to do U property replicated using, and then we make a function. So U function, let's do void on rep underscore um, attach weapon like so let's create the definition we're just going to move it right below begin play and for the replicated using in the side of the header we're going to set it to replicate using on rep attach weapon so that way whenever our weapon changes this function will fire so we have the current weapon being changed on the server, what we want to do is because even though on rep attach weapon will run on the clients when current weapon is changed, it will not run on the server unless we call it from the server. So we need to do on rep attach weapon so that way it attaches on the server as well. Well, the function runs on the server as well. 
Now what we want to do is we want to do the local check. So this will dictate whether or not we attach it to the first person mesh or the third person mesh. So the way we can do that, first off I want to check if current weapon is valid. So if current weapon just to prevent any possible crashes, what we're going to do is if is locally controlled. Else, meaning third person, first person. So is locally controlled is dirt is based off of a pawn. So we're probably going to be using is locally controlled in the future, possibly on our weapon class. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure, but that's going to uh, I actually have to show you here in a second. Let's just finish this up. Sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the turret attaching setup, copy it and remove it and paste it under is locally controlled. So that way it attaches to the first person mesh. And for the else, meaning the third person mesh, we're just going to do get mesh to replace the um, third person, or so it gets the third person mesh that comes with the A character. Now that that's done, I want to change it from snap to target, including scale, to snap to target, not including scale for both of these. And that is not quite all. We need to set current weapon to replicate. So in order to do that, I want to do that underneath of begin play. I'm going to go ahead and copy the get lifetime replicated props just because I can never remember how to type that in properly. Like so. And replace the new inventory class with our A character base. And items with current weapon. So we have get lifetime replicated props then we have the variable that we want to replicate. So now in order to fix this, we need to include the Unreal Network. So include net forward slash Unreal Network dot H. Sorry if I'm going pretty fast. I've remade this video like five times. <laughs> OK. So we have current weapon set to replicate. Current weapon is getting set on the server. The attach weapon function is getting called on the server and all clients. If we are locally controlled when it runs, we attach it to our first person mesh. If we are not controlling that character, we attach it to the third person mesh. Now the only change we need to do now is inside a weapon base, we want to make it replicate. So what we're going to do is actually inside a weapon base, let's set it to root component. So root component equals weapon mesh. We want to set to replicate. So set replicates true inside of our weapon base. And then we can compile. So hopefully this all works out. I'm going to go ahead and save and restart the editor. And then after this, I'm going to go ahead and step through what else is going on, assuming it works. OK. So here we have the server and the client. But as you can see, the uh, weapon is down. Stupid zombies at the origin of the character by kind of like on the floor, as you can see on the right hand side. Same thing here. Well, we haven't set up the socket on the third person mesh because I forgot to do that. So let's go ahead and do it. So go to your third person mesh or the mannequin, open up the skeleton, go to the IK handgun, or right click, click add socket. So here's the socket. Now let's copy the name, so s underscore weapon socket, like so. So the name's the same as the first person, and we're going to add a preview asset of the 1911. Now let's go ahead and rotate it. And just get it in a somewhat OK position. Yeah, that'll be good enough for now. 
and save it. So now, all right, that position's off. I feel like it's due to the IK bone. Uh, let me try something else. I'm just going to rename it so it doesn't do anything. Let's see, where's the hand? Hand underscore R. I'm going to right click, add a socket, and that socket's going to be the S underscore weapon socket. Now let's save and give it a try. See if that fixes it. Yep, it does. So it was due to the IK bone being just way off. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this socket that we made that's attached to the IK handgun. We're going to have to switch that later whenever I start working with animations, I think. And we're just going to delete it. Delete it. So now back to our S underscore weapon socket. Let's add a previous set of the 1911 again. Rotate it. And drag it roughly into position. That'll be close enough. Save it, and let's do one more check. So there you can see the weapons are in the hands of the third person character. We're obviously going to have to hide the, uh, <laughs> the magazine later on when we start really working on the animations, but that's not too big of a deal. So anyways, now we have a proper attachment for our and and everything. So in the next video, we will work on actually making it so when we shoot the zombie from the client that it will actually work and give us points. So I will see you then.